Okay, so I'm going to show how I do the 4D here at Astoria. Um, this is a great treatment to do throughout the summer and the warmer months. It's a good treatment, safe treatment to do year round. We shouldn't ethically be doing deep peels, deep laser treatments in the summer. It's just too dangerous for the skin. So the 4D can be done, as I said, year round, and it's a great prep for doing something deeper in the winter. Your skin's gonna get healthier, it's gonna be more hydrated. You'll just get a better result when you do something deeper in the winter. So we're gonna start out with the 4D with the first um, aspect of that, which is the intraoral. It's gonna tighten the tissue from the inside out. We stack four pulses, except when we get close to the lip, we're gonna stack two and then make a second pass. Around the nasal labial fold. I tend to do two passes of two stacks here. As you get towards the edge of the lip, it can get a little more sensitive. And then the marionette area. So you're gonna do that. Then I let them switch their tongue around to re-wet because as long as that oral mucosa stays moistened, it's not gonna hurt, it's just gonna feel warm. If it starts feeling stingy, they're probably just getting dry and you just need to stop and let them switch that tongue around again. So you're going to do that three times over here, three passes, then you're gonna come over here, do three passes, and then I come around to the head. And this is a great um, treatment for around the lips. You just pull the lip down you can just make a couple passes over this area. And then I pull the lip down. This really helps with lines around the lip area, prevention and helping them to get better. Helps with that oral commissure group as well. right up close to that gum line. Okay, so you're gonna do that two more times, so three passes each place. I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit. We're gonna treat the outside of the lips. Turn it down and you can put this to a five to six millimeter spot to fit the lip better. This is great exfoliation. Helps smooth the outer lip surface and build collagen. And again, you'll see a beautiful tint come into their lips. It, um, it's like their, their perfect natural lip tint when you're done the, la you know, the full three passes. So you're gonna do that two more times. That will be a very nice lip treatment. And then we're going to go into the second phase of the 4D. So a lot of times when I have people in here for 4Ds, you know, if they have some broken capillaries to clean up, um, they need a little laser hair removal around their chin or lip. 
this is a good time to pop that in there before you move on with the other steps of your 4D, or you can do the acne protocol. Um, whatever other issues they have going on, it's just a real easy time to get that taken care of. I have the nine millimeter on now, but normally what I do, just to speed up the video, I do two passes of the four millimeter on just the face, and then I'll do a pass of the nine millimeter all over the chest, neck, and face. And this does uh, several things. The nine millimeter is great for just all over anti-aging. The four millimeter is gonna be more concentrated on going deeper into the skin, breaking up brown pigment so that your body can digest it more easily, and also doing deep tissue collagen and modeling. This nine millimeter is just some really nice, uh, more gentle all over anti-aging. So you're gonna do this all over the face. Again, with a four millimeter, two passes, and then one pass over the chest, neck, and face with a nine millimeter. So the third step is the bulk heating, which is really nice to tap down redness, tighten the skin, do a more superficial collagen pull. So yes, this is the same type of thing that you're doing for fat melting with the tight sculpt, but when you're doing it to a lesser degree, it's just really nice skin tightening. It's not going to melt the fat. As a general rule, I, I, when I was doing the uh, temperature gauge all the time, about eight passes was just perfect for the anti-aging we want without going into fat melting. So again, you're gonna do this all over chest, neck, face. I'm not doing all the passes, but I like to go right over the lips with this as well. And this really helps redness in the skin as well. Not immediately, sometimes, you know, while you're doing the treatment, putting the heat into the skin, it will look more red, but then over the next few days, it really helps to tap down the redness. Again, about eight passes over the entire chest, neck, and face area. So the light laser peel in the summer, I only do it about five microns. Um, and it's just a nice freshening for the skin, gets off those top layers of dead skin cells so that their products will sink in better. They might have some microfine flaking in a couple of days. Uh, people that have thicker, oilier skin may not have any flaking, but it just really helps the skin to be more hydrated, healthier glow. But no downtime. They will look great when they get up off your table put some good serums on them, their sunscreen, and they put, can put makeup on immediately and go out to dinner and look great. I'm gonna jump up here because you can do some nice tightening around the eyes with this, even though it's very light and gentle. You can see it on the video, but you'll see a little white, pearly finish to the skin when you're done with this. That's the dead skin cells you're just going to wipe off. Again, you're just going to do this everywhere. One pass over the chest, neck, and face. You can make a couple passes over anywhere where there might be a fine line, just to give a little more resurfacing. Um, 
we're gonna pause this and I'm gonna finish her treatment and then we'll put up some before and after pictures.